Welcome to Vibrant Healthy Living. You're probably wondering why I'm running around with these rabbit ears on. Well, since we're getting close to Easter, I just thought this would be a great time to wear the ears and to also make some suggestions for healthier treats. When Easter comes, there's lots of candy, and it's not just our children that consume it, but as adults, it's kind of hard to stay out of it. So I would like to suggest incorporating more fresh fruits, you know, sweet, juicy fruits. Um, yeah, have some Easter eggs, sure, why not? Uh, but to add more fresh fruits instead of just a whole bunch of candy, because of course you know what happens then. You and the kids are we're all bouncing off the walls. Okay, but what I'd like to introduce is one of the fruits is this incredibly beautiful fruit, ha ha ha. It's called an ugly fruit. It's similar to a grapefruit, but not quite so pretty. And it is actually called an ugly fruit, U-G-L-I, ugly. And it's from Jamaica. And it, instead of being sour like a grapefruit, it's sweet like a tangella. Now, the interesting thing about this ugly fruit it's real easy to peel, but you find that the peeling is rather thick. So it's rather unusual fruit. See how thick that peeling is? But it's easy to get into. Probably a little easier than an orange, actually. But it's incredibly thick. That's just amazing. I actually found this at Albertsons. It was only 69 cents. Now, I don't know if that's the regular price or if it's just so unusual that they thought, well, if they put a, a price on it that wasn't so expensive that people might be more apt to try it. But um, see, so this very thick peeling that it easy, easily comes off. And as you can see, it looks like a grapefruit. The slices are rather large, just like a grapefruit. Okay, but it's very sweet, so unlike a grapefruit, it's very sweet. Now I'm just going to cut this a bit so you can see how juicy it is. Um, when the lady in Albertsons was demonstrating this to me, she said, you know, I would just pop that whole thing in your mouth, um, and whenever I did, and I had juice running down my, my mouth, that's how juicy it is. Mm. So it is quite sweet. So it's a nice little treat. It's something very different. I can hear it now. You take it home, you introduce it to the kids. And the first thing they're going to say is, Oh, Mom, what is that ugly fruit? And you're going to go, Yeah, that's what it is. It's an ugly fruit. You got it. So, some of the things you can do with this, since it's a nice, sweet fruit, is you go to my website, vibranthealthylivingwithgiselle.com. And you click on the recipe link, and you will find a recipe for cashew cream. Cashew cream is excellent to dip fruit into. So you can use it. You can dip this into the cashew cream, or you can chop it up, and you can just make a fruit salad out of it. Now, these do have some rather large seeds. I'm not finding them right now but you definitely want to take those out because they're, they're huge, just like this fruit is. Let's see if I can find some for you. Okay, this isn't working out as well as I would expect. But anyway, you will discover them once you get into this fruit. But there again, as a healthier alternative, or excuse me, as an addition to Easter goodies, I would suggest trying a new fruit. And it could be ugly fruit, it could be star fruit, um, there's a lot of different unusual fruits that you can try, or just your regular like mangoes, oranges, apples, anything that's a healthier choice. In addition, if they want to have their candies and things, that's, we're so used to eat in a cer certain way that to totally take it out is not the greatest way to do it. So anyway, just wanted to introduce you to this ugly fruit and enjoy checking it out. 
and have a wonderful Easter and a wonderful day. Thank you.